Ararat. No more curse. Blessings only. Praise the Lord. Brought to you by All Left Half Sermons. Voila! Hoo-ya! 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 After the deluge, or great flood, receded, Noah's ark rested in the seventh month, the seventeenth day of the month, on the mountains of Ararat, Genesis 8 verse 4. The account alluded to Jesus Christ and Him crucified. The Jews have two kinds of calendars. The, one, civil calendar, and two, sacred calendar. The former was the old one, and the latter, the new, which began from the first Passover. Therefore, the seventh month in Genesis 8 verse 4 was according to the old civil calendar as the Passover was instituted way much later. The month of Abib was the month that the Lord delivered Israel from slavery in Egypt. At that point in time, Abib was the seventh month. God told the Israelites to change it to the first month of the year, Exodus 13 verse 4. In Hebrew, Abib means, sprouting, budding, fresh ears of corn. Abib was renamed Nisan after the Babylonian captivity, Esther 3 verse 7. The Lord Jesus was crucified on the fourteenth day of Abib and was resurrected three days thereafter on the seventeenth of the same month, Exodus 12 verse 6, John 18 verse 28. In that early type of the ark resting upon the mountain, we were told the exact date of the resurrection of Christ. In the sight of God, the Passover was counted as a new beginning of life. This is because the resurrection of the Lord Jesus signified a brand new beginning. For this reason, it is stated in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, NKJV, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation, old things have passed away, behold, all things have become new. The beloved Son of God in the flesh as Jesus Christ and Him crucified, testifies to the faithfulness of God to make good the first announcement of the Gospel as recorded in Genesis 3 verse 15. As an aftermath of Adam's disobedience, the earth is cursed. Adam brought destruction to the good habitat that God freely gave to mankind. However, God promised to reverse the curse that came about because of Adam, by sending His beloved Son to die on the cross as Jesus the Christ. God the Son hung on the cross has become a curse for us and thereby redeemed us from the curse. Because of what the beloved Son of God in the flesh as Jesus the Christ has accomplished for us on that cross, there is therefore now no more curses but only blessings. Praise the Lord! Happy times do really fly it is time to say goodbye. Thanks for watching. You may want to subscribe to my YouTube channel or become a patron. Till we meet again, be blessed.